One of the most asked questions in tech is, how much do you really need to know to land that first job in tech? Now, let me just be real for a second. There's this idea out there that you need to master everything to break into tech and maybe spend like a four years in a computer science degree. But the truth is, you don't. You just need to know just enough. The right amount of HTML, CSS, and JavaScript, and a few other essentials can get you through the door. So if you're ready to stop wasting your time and start focusing on what really matters to land that first job in tech, keep watching. You don't need to be an expert in every tool or framework. What you really need to do is focus on the fundamentals first. Let me break that down for you. When you start learning, focus on three things, HTML, CSS, and JavaScript. HTML is like the bones of every website, and CSS is like the skin of every website. You just need to know how to structure a page and make it look decent. That's it. I'm talking basic text, headings, paragraphs, divs, buttons, not rocket science. Too many people waste months trying to perfect their CSS skills. Don't get stuck there. Learn the basics and move on because that's not what will get you hired. We'll get to what will in a second. Let me tell you something that might surprise you. You don't need to be a designer to be a developer. I see a lot of people thinking they need to master design software like Figma or Photoshop. You don't. Most tech companies have dedicated designers, UI UX designers, who hand over a file to developers or maybe just a link on Figma. And your job is to turn these designs into actual functioning websites. It's about implementation, not design. So stop worrying about being the next Picasso or web design and focus on what will actually matter when you're building something. Get comfortable with things like layout, making things mobile friendly, and handling media queries in CSS, but don't fall into the trap of thinking you need to become a design guru. That's not the job you're going for. Now, here's where it gets real. JavaScript is gonna be your best friend. This is the game changer. You can forget about being the world's greatest HTML or CSS expert. What really matters is how well you know JavaScript. If you want to get a job as a front-end developer, 75% of your time should be spent mastering JavaScript and one of its frameworks, maybe like React or Vue. JavaScript makes websites functional. It's the brains behind the operation. And trust me, you won't need to know every single thing about JavaScript to get hired. Focus on learning core concepts, variables, functions, loops, arrays and objects. Once you've got those locked in, start building simple projects. That's where the real learning happens. Here's a tip that will save you months of wasted effort. Stop learning for learning's sake. Don't just binge tutorials or keep reading up on those latest frameworks. You'll never feel ready that way, right? Instead, focus on building things. Actually get your hands dirty coding stuff. The biggest mistake I see people, or even myself back in the time, was just learning and never applying. You don't need to know everything. What you need is proof that you can build something real. Employers or clients don't really care about what you know, they care about what you've done or what you're able to do after that. Create a portfolio that shows you can solve problems with code. Even if it's a simple project like a weather app or a to-do list, it's better than nothing. The point is to demonstrate that you can turn these ideas into real functioning code rather than just theory, right? So here's something they don't teach you in school, how to Google effectively. I'm, I'm not even kidding. Knowing how to find the right answers online is a crucial skill in tech. You don't need to memorize everything. Nobody in the industry does. The key is knowing what to search for and how to find the solutions quickly. Whether it's HTML, CSS, or JavaScript, 90% of the time, somebody else has already solved the problem that you're facing. So learn how to research efficiently. Trust me, it's a lifesaver. For example, if you're struggling with something like building nav bar, a navigation bar, just Google it, look at examples on GitHub, read forum discussions, and maybe just check out tutorials. Copy, tweak, and learn. That's the process. Too many people waste time learning fancy stuff like complex animations, advanced algorithms, or obscure tools that you really wouldn't be using in your first job. Just keep it simple. Employers really just care about one thing. Can you do the job that they need done? Instead of getting lost in rabbit hole of advanced topics, master the basics that will help you build. Once you're comfortable with HTML, CSS, and JavaScript, then start looking at more complex things. But don't start with the shiny stuff. It won't land you that job. Focus on practical skills that employers are looking for, like responsive design, using JavaScript frameworks, or making basic API calls, right? Your CRUD functions. These are the things that will actually make you valuable. So here's the bottom line. You don't need to know everything. You just need to know enough. Focus on the core technologies, HTML, CSS, and most importantly, JavaScript. Build real projects, learn how to Google your way out of problems, skip the fancy stuff for now. Once you've done that, you're ready. You've got enough to show potential employers that you can get the job done. It's not about perfection. It's about getting your foot in the door first, learning on the job, and just growing on from there. All right, so if you found this helpful, hit the like button and subscribe, and let me know if in the comments what projects you're working on to land your first tech job. I'd love to hear from you, and let's crush it together. See you in the next video.